man. Stay safe, world. You already know what's going on. We got to talk about this situation with T Grizzly, man. LA has been on fire. It's been super crazy. Rappers have been getting robbed left and right, man. And it turns out in a home invasion, T Grizzly was robbed. Well, he wasn't there, but his house was robbed for over a million dollars worth of jewelry, man. We're going to get right into it and how this went down. But before we do, I'm going to need y'all to like, comment, subscribe, and we're going to run this up. So T Grizzly has been having a crazy year in general. I mean, like first his GTA whole thing was kind of like blowing up. He was getting a hell of racks in there. He said that he was making like hundreds of thousands of dollars on there, but I guess he shouldn't have been bragging like that. So he basically was making hell of bread. And then in the same week that his one of his good friends PNB Rock was gunned down at a Roscoe's Chicken in LA, new details basically came out saying that T Grizzly's Los Angeles home was hit for a million dollar rock with jewelry and cash in hand and they just dipped out on him man so if you didn't know t grizzly he basically had a san fernando valley home and it was targeted in a robbery thieves made off over one million dollars of jewelry and tons of cash he lives in this neighborhood called porter ranch which is like super deep i'm not gonna say the exact house or anything like that but i'm just saying it's just in porter ranch which is like it's not just like the regular valley it's deep on the other end of the valley you know kind of near like santa clarita vibes where it gets hot as fuck and it's not really much out there so it's like if they're getting robbed there it's kind of weird you know like they went all the way out of their way it seems like they kind of had an idea that he lived out there and maybe been staking it out for a minute but basically they're saying tmz is reporting that not even a week after his close friend uh died t grizzly was involved in the robbery himself before a wedding according to tmz law enforcement say the thieves smashed the window at his house stole one million dollar in jewelry from the rapper robbers also made off with the undisclosed undisclosed amount of cash but the amount seemed pretty hefty luckily no one was at the home at the time of the robbery and basically this was in the middle of him planning his wedding and shit so it was probably just a major l and it's not really much you can do that's kind of why it's probably coming out right now but maybe that's why he named his whole like new series that he's coming out robbery because he ended up getting robbed man and you know this is like something that's been going on in la since the beginning of fucking even like gangbanging really i mean even before that probably this is what's been happening basically i mean like people call it flocking just like running into people's cribs and shit sometimes they run in when people are there like what happened to pop smoke sometimes they do it when you're not home but this has happened to a lot of celebrities everyone man even look at draymond green he got got i know a lot of different people got got in the past couple years a lot of celebrities and stuff t grizzly was the most recent one that like i've seen and I feel like there, people aren't aware, but there's a lot of ways that people can find you. Number one, like people could just see you in public and maybe follow you home, see your T Grizzly and drive all the way back with you and see what's up. And instead of just like robbing you there, they're on some smart criminal shit, waiting for you to dip, waiting for you to like leave or not be there, maybe checking your Instagram and seeing that you're not in the area or country, and then going up there and there robbing shit, man. You know, it happens to a lot of people and it's like LA, I don't know maybe like neighbors talk and talk say oh yeah so and so lives here or like a delivery person like an uber person can see that you live there and then they come back and fucking get you so it's like man if the thing is it happens everywhere but it's just famous people out in la so it's like people obviously like it's more likely that you're gonna get a famous person because they actually live out here with all the other people and the gap between wealthy and poor is so crazy that it's like people are just looking to come up man and it's it's one thing to be out in public and getting shot and robbed in south central but like to for people to go back to your house is some scary shit because it's like nowhere is really safe another way that people usually get you i saw this in a vice interview is if you even show like your car like your car registration your license plate or anything like that on instagram or flexing like that you people could look up where that car registration is and find the actual house but it could be anything from like delivery people i feel like that seems pretty likely because then they know the spot because i mean they could just be hitting spots in the area but you would think that if they like knew that the dude wasn't there and they ran off with a million dollars like it's 
it seems like it was something planned like not everyone that you're gonna hit is even gonna have that much money inside of their house a lot of people use banks i know white people are more likely to use banks i think like rappers for some reason i don't know why they don't put their cash inside of the bank i mean maybe that's just like spending cash for them but it just goes to show like if you leave that type of stuff out they're gonna get you and jewelry and stuff i mean you can't really hide that but it's just kind of the thing and like I guess he moved all the way out of the way. He wasn't in no Hollywood Hills or anything like that. Like, in a way that, like, people could easily go up in there, like, pop smoke. His shit was definitely over an hour away from the city. So maybe it came from the actual city itself, you know? Because I don't really know what's really going on out there. But it could have come from L.A. too. But I just feel like it was so deep that it had to be something that was, like, in that local area, man. But it's unfortunate. He's obviously going through a lot. But, you know, he's been releasing some fire lately. So, you know, hopefully he's able to get past all this shit and drop some fire shit. I mean, he dropped a whole robbery series. So maybe robbery part four or whatever is going to have something to do with it, man. But let me know in the comments how y'all think this even fucking happened, man. You think he was lacking? You think they followed him? You think a fucking pizza delivery driver gave them the drop, man? Let me know what y'all think. Real say say shit. Y'all already know what's going on. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Peace.